What's up everybody, King of FOMO here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow my telegram channel t.me slash kingoffomo1 as well as my telegram chat. It's where a lot of new coins are being talking talked about. A lot of people have been asking me about stuff and I'll give you guys the reason why I haven't really talked about a new coin in a second here in my website kingoffomo.com. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a basic, basic, basic tutorial for dummies about how to use ZZZ Finance and how to use the pool. Uh -huh. You have no idea. the mo like You'd think the most questions I get is is about people trying to find new coins but really in the past like day and a half it's been like super duper simple questions about ZZZ so I figured I'd make a video explaining all of that uh, so before I actually get into it though let's talk about some newer coins if you're looking for new stuff in DeFi, which is again, probably the second most popular question that I get is what's the next new gem? Uh, you know, the the problem is, and this happens no matter what, no matter when in the crypto space, when a, a super popular fad comes around, like DeFi or like decentralized smart contracts or anything like that, you're going to have a moment where there's oversaturation. And I do think that we are at that moment for DeFi coins in general. That's not to say that there's nothing good coming out but it is to say that you know a week ago a week and a half ago 90 percent of the stuff that came out was really really good now we've kind of flipped that fraction completely and 90 percent of the stuff that comes out is complete and total crap there are gems in the rough they're just a lot harder to find and uh, it's still a much bigger risk so the amount of funds that i'm putting in a lot of this newer stuff is pretty small compared to what I was doing in the beginning of this DeFi boom rush. So uh, keep that in mind. I know some coins recently today, the Spider Coin, which had a little bit of a rocky launch. It was It's also vaporware. There's nothing out right now for Spider that works. There's another coin that just crashed to zero right now called the Yang Coin. Uh, so a lot of stuff is just going to zero, getting scammed out, or not even like getting scammed out, just not doing well. People are like, there's so much new stuff popping up that people are just taking their profits a lot faster and going to the next thing a lot faster so they might make like you know half an eth on something and get rid of it uh, where before the projects would last you know a day or two before they died even if they were crappy so let's get straight into zzz finance so let's get into the basics of stuff people have been asking me, like how do you how do you use ethereum for this i'm like Okay, let's, let's go over this. So the first thing you're gonna need is to get Ethereum. Look up another video on how to get Ethereum and how to get MetaMask. Those two things are extremely basic. And for all these uh, farming type of videos, you need to use MetaMask. It's an ERC20 token. And ERC20 tokens can only interact with ERC20 tokens at the moment. Polkadot's supposed to change that. But as of right now, we're just gonna say ERC20 only works with ERC20. So when you're buying these tokens, you don't need a special wallet for anything. In fact, most of the stuff that I talk about in this channel for the past like month or so has been ERC-20 tokens where you use MetaMask to transact them. The second thing that you need to know is that if you do buy ZZZ or any token for that matter, gas fees are still extremely high. It's going to cost you about five to ten dollars to do anything. And in order to do farming in this space, you need to do something at least five or six times. So it's going to cost you twenty to forty dollars to cycle your money to buy the token, to put it in the pool, to take it out of the token, to sell the token, and to get your Ethereum back. It's going to cost you about forty, maybe fifty bucks to do that. So keep that in mind. If you're only buying ten dollars worth of the token uh, you can still make profit but you're going to have to wait way longer than everyone else to actually do anything and actually claim a profit and not be eaten up by gas fees so with that being said if you go over to this website now this website is pool.zzz.com Finance. That is the name of this website. It is not zzz.finance. It's not gov.zzz.finance. Pool.zzz.finance. When you get here, uh, it's going to look like this. And you're going to say, I don't see the pools, King of FOMO. Whatever do I do? Well, you just click on the wallet right here. So if you, I would just use the browser wallet because you're probably using TrustWallet or MetaMask, and this is probably going to help you. So go ahead and click on that browser wallet. Another question I got a lot of today is how do you get ZZZ and how do you get the NAP token. How do I buy and sell these things, King of Omo? Well, luckily, if you go to pool.zzz.finance, you don't really have to go that much further. You got a button here, and you got a button here. So click on these buttons to get the tokens. You can also click on these buttons to sell the tokens as well. So if I wanted to sell some ZZZ, I just click right here. It's going to bring up Uniswap. I'm going to click right here where it says trade. It's going to bring up Uniswap again, and I'm going to click I understand, continue. And then I'm going to click on this arrow right here if I want to sell my ZZZ. All 
All right, if I want to buy some ZZZ with Ethereum, click on the arrow again. That's how I buy my ZZZ. Same thing with NAP. For NAP, you have to transact it to ZZZ first and then to Ethereum if you want to get Ethereum straight up from that. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. There are currently one, two, three, four, five pools that are available. You'll see that this pool is currently empty. You cannot use it, so don't try to put anything in it. First one is the BPT pool. Uh, now, read what it says. It says, stake BPT for ZZZ. If you stake this token right here, you're going to end up earning this token right here. Now, there's a lot of BPT in here. So if you want to earn any ZZZ at all, hopefully you have maybe $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 worth of BPT. Go ahead and approve that. You'll start earning very, 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 very small amounts on an hourly basis. Safest pool, most expensive pool. Again, gas fees will destroy you if you put in one or two BBTs. Uh, next one is the Dreamer Pool. Skipping that one. This one doesn't work. Next one is the Snoozer Pool. So this one, it says you need to stake ZZZ, NAP, Uniswap, Liquidity Pool tokens for NAP. Stake this, and you're going to earn this. You can see that I'm doing this one because it has the highest WPY, which is weekly percent yield. So on average, I'm going to be making $6,956.70 at the end of the week. The other question or uh, comment that I get a lot of is, well, King of FOMO, that's not going to stay the same. That number is clearly going to be down. You're lying to people. You're not going to make that much money. And no, you're not. The number is going to most likely go down. More people are going to most likely come into here. But still, 36% per week is phenomenal. If it goes down to half of that, let's say it goes down to 18% per week, still extremely good. If it goes down to half of that or a fourth of this, 9% per week, still really, really good. If it goes down to half of that or I don't I don't even know what the percentage of, the, of that of 36 is for that still going to be really really good at like what is that 4.5 percent per week so uh still the numbers can't be beat in my opinion if you're doing this snoozer pool so yes the numbers can go down but also the numbers can go up as, as soon as people start panicking when the value of this zzz goes down and the value of nap goes down people get scared they exit and then they start selling uh and that brings the price down even more and then people see, hmm, good opportunity. They buy it up, they start staking, the value of the WPY starts going down, but uh, the price of everything starts going up. So all in all, it's really good if you kind of just stick in here for a little bit. Uh, as long as the price of ZZ doesn't ultra mega crash and neither does NAP, uh, then things are going to be pretty smooth here in this system. So that's the ZZZ Uniswap liquidity pool. So another question people are asking me is, how do I get these tokens, King of FOMO? It says I don't have any. I don't know how to buy these tokens. I don't know how to sell these tokens. Well, let's just see if we click this button right here, get NAP Uniswap liquidity pool tokens. It's going to bring us here. It's going to bring us the liquidity. And it says right here, in order to get these tokens, you need to add NAP and ZZZ. If you don't have NAP or ZZZ, then you need to get them by either buying them or farming them. Now, if you want to actually sell these tokens, you need to go back then this is a little more complicated. You need to import liquidity and you need to import both token addresses. Uniswap is not very fun to use, so you actually need to copy and paste the token addresses. Where do you find those token addresses? Well, if I go back over to the website, the pool website right here, we click on another one that says like get ZZZ. Up in the top in the search bar, that is your contract address. Copy and paste that into uh, the import pools button and then uh, copy and paste the NAP token as well then press back, then it'll show your liquidity down here, and then you can actually decide to sell it, and you'll get your NAP tokens and your ZCZ tokens. All right, so that is covers that pool if you guys are interested in doing that. Again, this one is expensive. It's going to take a lot of funds to make a little bit of money from here. But if you have the coin to spend on ZZZ and on Uniswap or, or uh, NAP, then it will be a very, very lucrative. It will be the most lucrative of all of the pools. All right. Next up, we have the Napper Pool. This is one of the easiest to use. If you have the ZZZ token itself, go ahead and stick those bad boys in there. You're going to be making 7% per week. Granted, that number can go down. It can also go up. But 7% per week is still extremely good. And then uh, when you can claim those rewards, claim those rewards. Keep in mind gas fees. If you guys claim too fast, like you got $10 worth of rewards and you claim it, you just spend 50% of your rewards on gas fees. Keep that in mind. Yawn Pool is the next one. This one is another, the best one. Uh, another one that is the best. WPY of 25%. This time you're getting ZZZ ETH Uniswap Liquidity Pool tokens. A little bit easier to use actually than this one. Easier to get than this one. But nonetheless, 
once you get those tokens and you've approved them and everything, you can uh, get in here and you can actually start earning NAP tokens. All right. This is the best way to earn NAP. This is the second best way to earn NAP. This is the third best way to earn NAP. Hardest to get, pretty hard to get, easiest to get. Makes sense to me. Finally, we have our Snore Pool. This is where you stake ZZZ and you're going to be getting ZZZ NAP Uniswap liquidity pool tokens. So if this is way too difficult for you, well, hey, you can just do this. But keep in mind, WPY is only 2%. So if you put in $10 worth of, uh, for, worth of, what, what is that? No, let's just say $100. If you put in $100 worth of ZZZ in here, then in one week, you're getting a maximum of $2.78. <laughs> maximum all right so keep that in mind that number's probably gonna go down just like all the other ones all right but if you do that you can claim it gatsby's will eat all of that up put in 100 bucks it's gonna take you maybe 50 weeks to be able to press that claim button so uh this is not a small guy's game put a little bit more as easy as if you're gonna do this snore pool as long as that wpy is down all right and then finally you have your gems you guys can mess around with gems if you want to but for this one you have to buy coval it's right here. Same deal. Same WPY. Cove was a little bit more volatile. It could go up a lot or go down a lot because it's not connected to the ZZ environment. Hopefully that explains how to use this entire system. All of the buttons are on here. You don't have to go anywhere else. Pool.zz.finance. And it's really, really simple. So if I reload right here, the number's going to change a little bit because the price is uh, being a little volatile right now. But I got about 2,430 naps. And since I've done the explanation, if I reload and explain that, it should actually be the same because I just switched back over. 2,431. So now it's going to be $12,339 altogether. $1,239. Uh, so I'm looking forward to possibly claiming that and i'm probably gonna hold i don't like to really sell at 50 cents usually this thing rebounds back up to 60 cents so i'll probably wait until then before i do any types of sells uh, also keep in mind there is rumor that there's going to be another nap pool where you stake nap tokens and get something else so uh, i'm looking forward to that that might actually increase the price of nap uh, so you might want to wait until then to sell or wait until then to actually stake or you might want to just sell it immediately that's everything for today, guys. Hopefully that clears up all of your questions about ZZZ Finance. If anybody asks me any simple questions again, I'm going to direct you to this video. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.